I'm going to go ahead and press record. So thank you guys for jumping on. All right, let me see here. We're going to screen share. And let's see if you guys can. Can you guys see this? Perfect. All right, welcome to the call. I'm gonna go ahead and start with our shout outs like I usually do. So we have a few new rank advancements and I'm really excited. We have Joe Gamble and Alicia Scazzaro. So congratulations, ladies. Very, very excited for you both. And then we have some top producers. So everyone had a really, really, really high volume last week, and we have a lot less coaches with, with vo high volume this week. Um, it's just the time of the year, and I don't want you guys to get scared by that, but I, you know, it is a tough year. We just have to work a little bit harder, but I do want to give these coaches a huge shout out because they're still making it work and they're still kicking some major butt in their business. So we have Lauren Penrose at the very top at 443. We have Melissa Chavez at 420, Beth Bird at 390, who just had a little baby, Sarah Griffith at 360, Jade Emhoff at 338, and Courtney Bailey at 316. So congratulations, guys. If you guys are brand new to this business and you're wondering, okay, what the heck is top producers? We get these numbers by putting together your personal volume, which is like ecology and home direct order uh, back up uh, goalie or goalie guy is not working well hold on one sec so your shakeology order anything that you would purchase from your own account and also your customer orders. So not anyone who signed up as a, as a coach, it's just your customer order. So you put those two together and every week you have a different number. It switches over every single week and that's where we get these numbers for the top producers. All right, and then next we have Success Club. It is, is today the 10th? Today's the 10th. Guys, we got two people at Success Club. <laughs> Two out of our entire team. Like, it is it is a difficult month. I'm going to say it again. But, guys, this is not impossible. You guys can make it happen. It's, it's doable. And I do want to tell you guys that people are going to be checking out coming here for Christmas. Like, for a few days, usually... I would say like two or three days before Christmas until like a day after Christmas, people are going to check out. So if you have goals of hitting success club, please make sure that you are pushing as hard as you possibly can get those conversations going and reach out to people so you can reach your goal before a couple days before Christmas. So you're not stressing. I don't want to have anyone stressing because I want us all to enjoy the holiday and have a lot of fun. So Melissa Chavez, Huge congratulations, girl. You're almost at 10. You are at Success Club 9. You've reached 5. You're on a roll. You're rocking it. All right? Vanessa McLaughlin, another great oh, job. Hold on. Success Club 6. Very, very, very good job. And then we have a ton of coaches at 4, 3, 2, and 1. And guys, even if you literally just signed up today and you want to start helping people, like you can make it happen. Success Club 5 means that you are helping at least three people a month. And when you're helping people, that means you're getting them signed up in your challenge group, which is why we want to run a challenge group every month. If you're new into the business, ask your upline coach to join with you because you are never supposed to do these alone if you are uncomfortable. Now, if you are independent and you want to do your own, that is fine. We have challenge group guides that we can help you with. Um, but get them started up with a challenge pack, which means it's a fitness program and Shakeology and Home Direct. I require both because when you invest in your health, you are more likely to succeed. It helps with the accountability. Having that extra support and motivation in your challenge groups is going to help you get the best results. Um, I know a lot of people are coming up with cost objections with Shakeology. Guys, compare it to what they're normally eating. If they want to be healthy and they're trying to eat healthy, tell them, guys, the Shakeology, it is comparable to what you're already eating if you're eating a healthy meal. It comes out to less than $4 a day, and you're also getting better nutrition and health benefits with this. It's something quick, easy, convenient. I know you're busy. You have a lot going on. We all do. I get it. 
this is why we are promoting Shakeology because it gives you everything you need to get the best results to keep you accountable and on track with your fitness goals. And if you're going through a conversation and you get an ignore or a no, don't be discouraged. They're just not ready. And when, you know, I was talking to another coach today and she's like, I can't even get through the whole price with Shakeology before they just shut me down and stop talking. If they are not willing to join a challenge group because they don't want to drink Shakeology, they're not fully committing to their health and fitness goals. They don't want it bad enough. I know there are cer certain circumstances where people physically cannot afford Shakeology if they are eating ramen noodles or raviolis from a can every day. I get that. If that's all they're paying for a meal, it would be hard to triple that amount and pay for Shakeology. But if they're eating a normal healthy meal, compare it. Tell them it's cheaper than Starbucks or fast food and better quality nutrition. So just keep working through those. Um, back to what I was saying, two points for a challenge pack, one point for Shakeology and Home Direct. So if you're helping three people, that'll get you to Success Club 6 if they all three get challenge packs. So guys, Make Success Club 5 non-negotiable, minimum Success Club 5. We have 5 and 10. Success Club 10 means you're helping five people. And when you help five people, you also get free Success Club leads by Beachbody, which means someone signs up and they buy a challenge pack or they buy a fitness program. They don't have a coach. You could be given to them as their coach and then you make commission. But more importantly, you have the opportunity to get them involved in one of your challenge groups and help them one-on-one -on -one and give them that support and motivation. You never know. We've had, I know um, Beth, I don't know if she's on. She's had a few leads that just signed up with as a what? And they ended up becoming a coach because of the results that they were getting. You guys never know. Um, just make sure that you are reaching out to as many people as you can, and especially if you're getting any free leads or customer leads that you are reaching out to them too. All right, monthly promotions. If you guys are not aware, we have like this really awesome new program called Hammer and Chisel, and it kills your body. It's amazing. I love it. Like, who's all using it? Are we like really sore and we wobble when we walk? Make you wobble, wobble. Yeah, I like that song. Like, Erin Trail was working in the hospital and she was saying her patients were asking why she was limping. <laughs> I love it. Like, it's amazing. It is probably one of my favorite programs. Oh, Ashley Roberts. I'm unmuting you. How do you love it? Am I there? Okay. Hi. Um, yeah, like, it's amazing. I can't. So I ordered mine. I haven't, I've been just doing the ones that are on, on demand. So I haven't tried any of the other ones yet. So I'm like watching all of you guys post and I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> Look what I'm in for. When did you order yours? Um, last Saturday. So mm -hmm. I should probably have it tomorrow. I think, you know, you can have the entire program on, on demand when you purchase it. Well, I ordered it through my husband's account, so I don't have it. I, yeah. Go on his account. Just go on his on demand. He, we, he doesn't have on demand. Oh crap, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know, but that's okay. Like yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm finishing my last week of Body Beast to this week, so it's a little sad for me because I've been using Body Beast for the last year. But yeah. I'm excited. Like I've been doing the on demand ones, and yeah. I'm excited to hear what you and your hubby have to say with it because it's seriously amazing. Yeah, I just I, I knew you love, you love lifting, so I'm excited. Hey, keep me updated. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, so hammer and chisel, challenge pack, 160 in a challenge pack, not the program alone. You get the challenge pack, you get Shakeology and Home Direct first month. Make sure you tell people that it's in Home Direct and they can cancel at any time because some people are like, why am I getting this other, you know, auto ship of Shakeology and I didn't ask for it? Just let them know that if they don't want it, they can easily cancel. Make sure you keep track of when they get it so you can let them know before that 30 days comes up. Also, anyone who gets a challenge pack also has that free trial of a 30-day club membership. So also keep track of that if they don't want it. That way you can let them know before they get charged that $41. Um, and then the kickstart is 180, and that also includes a three-day refresh, which is a perfect way for people just to get a little jump start with their nutrition and take all the crap out of their body that they were probably shoving in their mouths. Cool. Awesome. All right. I was one of those. I was eating Oreos before I started. Um, all right. So team, 
upcoming events and groups. We have the Hammer and Chisel Test Group that is starting on Monday. I'm still adding people to it. We just started preseason yesterday. So if you guys have anyone who wants to be in it, please um, let us know if you want to be part of the coaching part and participate. Add your challengers in and we'll have a lot of fun with it. Also, December 30th, after Christmas, I wanted to make it so people are like over the whole Christmas thing and are ready to get their button gear for the new year. December 30th, we're having a two-hour live Beachbody coaching event just like we did last month. It worked out really, really well. And um, we're just going to have a few coaches play videos. We're going to have everything in the event page so everyone can actually talk while they're listening to or watching the videos um, just to get some information about what Beachbody coaching is and answer any questions that people may have questions about. And then January 8th and 9th, Super Friday. This is one of the biggest, this is the biggest Super Saturday event. We have them every quarter. This is by far our biggest one. What's really exciting about this one in Pittsburgh is because we are going to have a little party for Melanie Mitro, who is going to be top coach for the second year in a row. And we also have Carl Deichler, who is a CEO coming into Pittsburgh. If you guys are able to come, there are people flying, driving. I don't think they're coming on boats, but they're either flying or driving. And this is a great opportunity for you guys to come and socialize, network with other top coaches and get yourself out there and show people that you're in that leadership role. And this is what you do for a living as one of your careers or your career. Um, you're going to have lots of great information and tips from top coaches that will be speaking at the training. We have a few coaches on our team that will be speaking at the event. Um, also, on Saturday, we are having a dream team training in the morning um, with Melanie, and there are tickets. The ticket link is in the Forever Fit section, uh, file section. So make sure you look in those. And then Saturday night, Saturday night is also a big party to celebrate Melanie being top coach. That is for Emerald coaches and above. So if you're not Emerald yet and you really want to come to this, you better sign up your spouse and your mama or your daddy or your brother, sister, cousin, aunt, uncle, friend, anyone, two people to get Emerald, okay? And that will help you get your business going. Does anybody have any questions? No? I have a question. What time is the live coaching opportunity? Is it eight to 10? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make it eight to 10. Good, good question. I haven't thought about okay. it. Eight to 10. <laughs> All right, cool, thank you. I think last time we had it at 830, but you know what? I think we are going to do it at 830 just because that's when I'm putting my kids to bed. So that's going to be really tough for me and anyone else who has kids that aren't in bed at that time. So 830. Yeah, that, that's actually exactly what happens to 8 to 830. They go to bed. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah. So 830 it will be then. Awesome. Anyone else have any questions? Perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and introduce our speaker for today. So we have Erin Trail. She is a mommy of two girls. We have Aubrey and Kate, and they are like cute as little buttons and crazy, and I love it. And you'll notice that Aubrey acts like she's 20 and she's like six, and Kate, she just walks around in her bathing suit all day long or she's naked and she likes to do the whip and the nay nay. I love it. Like it's a lot of fun. So <laughs> she, she has her hands full. She is a labor and delivery nurse. She is a mom and busy and she also had, ha has had a weight loss of 75 pounds and she has lost as many inches as a person. How many? 56. Six, 56 inches? I don't remember. Ah! You gotta remember 60, that kind of stuff. 56, 64. Yeah, 60, wasn't it 64? I think so. Yeah. Anyway, and she's also a blogger, and I'm excited for her to talk about blogging because she has an awesome blog. So if you guys want to look at hers, it's Baking to Burpees, and it's a two, like a number two in the in between those words um but she literally has an awesome blog like she she's very consistent with it she has been for a while which is how she has gotten successful with it but you can look at her blog and see her life like 
she's very good with talking about her fitness journey with her recipes and everything else coaching so she is going to help you guys with blogging 101 and how to get your blog started and going strong all right well i'm gonna just start off with screen sharing thanks for having me the reason i wanted to have this call is because when i first started out blogging probably a little over a year ago I was looking at tons of YouTube videos and I kept finding that I was wasting a lot of my time because they were outdated versions of blogger or um, incorrect information. So um, I just wanted to show you a little bit about blogging. Um, blogging is a great way to get challengers, potentials from um, Pinterest, Instagram, a Google search. And that's the really cool thing to it. They don't have to go to your Facebook or to anything like super personal, they can just check out what you have on your blog and I'm gonna show you how to connect a few things. So I created a email to do Blogger, which is the blog site that I use. It's a free site, you need to have a Gmail account. So I created a Gmail account today under Aubrey. So, so I could show you how to set one up because mine's kind of polluted. So you just go under this tab and then go under more to blogger. My computer is really slow and I apologize, but it'll be good because you can take notes, I guess. Right, you just have to set up a quick profile. So whenever you're creating a blog, you really want to think about your name and you really want it to be catchy and creative and not super long. Now the mistake I made whenever I first started my blog was that um, I titled it Baking the Burpees because before this I actually did run a successful in-home bakery. But nobody knew what burpees were. I would overhear people talking at work and saying, is burpees like a burp cloth? Like they had no idea that it was like a fitness move or how to spell it. And I had to always explain that there was like the number two in it. So I eventually went to GoDaddy and had my domain changed to just eTrail.com. So you really want to think about what you do in terms, in terms of your blog. Can I interrupt you a minute? Yeah. Um, you still come up baking the burpees, and I could not do eTrail. If you you couldn't? It didn't let me. It said content not available, and I did baking the burpees, and it came up. Oh, that's interesting. Just check on it later. Just. Oh, yeah. My card was probably denied. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, I love you. you. www.eachcarol.com. Wait for it. And then it switches oh. over domains. Hey. And then see this ghetto computer. You're going to take some time. Take some notes. Think of your name that you want to use. <laughs> yeah. So now I use the name Stronger Than the Average Mom because that's my, once I found my niche, you really need to find your niche and what target market you're going for, then choose a name based on that. Wow, I really hope this isn't going to be this slow. It's probably because I'm already in Google. So I'm just going to switch out of this. Someday. There we go. So I'm going to create a new blog. And this is where you're going to title your blog. And we're just going to call this Nene. And we're going to do whipit.blogspot.com. So until <laughs> teacher your face, you're killing me. So until um, you pay for a domain, it's like I paid $50 for two years. For me, that was way better than always typing out .blogspot.com. I'm that lazy. Um, so you just have to do that. And then you can pick what kind of template that you like. I forget what I picked at the beginning, but we'll just go with simple. Oh, Whip It is not available. Whip It 27. It is available. All right, we're creating our blog. And it's really simple as that. Nene was successfully created. So this is a screen that you'll always come up to whenever you go into the sort of like back office of your blog. And new post is where you'll create your new posts. This will be the title that comes up in, on the top of your blog. I always recommend 
Um, so this is going to come up in your title, this Forever Fit, but I always recommend putting a picture directly under it. It's just more eye-catching than it just going right into text. So to do that, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to show you. You'll just click on this picture button, choose files. I'll just use, I've made a recipe today, so we'll do my onion. Someday. There you go, and add selected. You can change the size of this. Extra large will usually fit the whole thing. And that's what I usually do for my title cover. And then you can move it to the right or left and put text on the side, which looks cool whenever you have, um, whenever you have pictures in your articles. And I really recommend doing and taking a lot of pictures to put in there because it's, it's eye-catching, it keeps people motivated. You know, it's, otherwise it'd be like reading a boring chapter book. No one wants to do that. So then you can just type in the context of your text, of your post. Um, what you need is what I usually do for my recipes and you can change it to like a little bit thicker of a font. You can go over here and add bullets, numbers, however you wanna do it. I also like to link. So if you have um, for example, when I was talking about hammer and chisel, I wanted to talk about how I was using focused energy. So when I typed in focused energy, I would link it. Oh, I'm sorry. You just highlight it and you can link it to another part of your blog. You want to have a lot of click throughs in your blog because this increases your infinity on Google. So what I mean by infinity is the more times people click on your stuff, the higher you'll come up in a Google search. So it's great if you have them jump from one thing to the next. So you can, you can do that that way. So we will publish our baked our potato recipe and you can just view it on your blog. Maybe. Or maybe not. <laughs> I think I need a new computer for Christmas. And there, and there it shows up. So I'm going to show you how we can switch out the the headers and the side things to make it more appealing. Um, because you really want, when someone comes to your blog, you want it to show who you are and what you're about. So we're going to go up here in the top to design. Sign will give you a couple great options for how you want to lay out your blog. Um, just different ways and different backgrounds that you can use. I've used this one before. So we're going to apply that to the blog. Then if you want to get more specific with um, your layout, you would just click the layout on the side. And then this is where you can add everything and all your gadgets. So what do I mean by gadgets? Gadgets are, more gadgets. So if I want someone to contact me using my email, I can gadget that in. If I want anything to show up on the side, so let's say I want always my um, challenge group. Um, join my next challenge. You can select a picture. I'm just going to keep using onion. And here you're going to want to link it to something. I'll show you what I mean by something. So. Um, for me, like I'll link it to a blog article, I'll link it to a WooFoo application, I'll link it to something so when they click on join my next challenge, it takes them to information about the challenge or to a challenge um, or to an application. Shrink to fit and save. View on blog.
This isn't showing up quite as pretty as mine is. Now, I'm going to go to my blog. Maybe that would be a little bit nicer. I thought it would be easier to show you guys on a on a brand new template, but I'm thinking probably not. So um, another thing about blogging that I wanted to mention is that you really have to like blogging to um, do it because it's not an instant gratification. You're not going to get anything out of this whenever you put in one recipe or one um, little tidbit or if you're only posting on it once a week. It's really going to be something that you need to be consistent about. I try and do um, about three articles in a week. I always put my Wufu applications at the bottom of it. And then that way I can always, they, anyone who, let's say they go to Pinterest and they see a recipe that they like, then they can go right, click right on it and it'll take them right to my blog, right at the bottom of the recipe, they'll see that I have an opportunity for these challenges. So whenever you see my blog, the gadgets that I'm talking about are these to the side. Am I, am I still on screen share now? No, you're not. I don't know how it clicked off of that. Sorry. Now I am I? Yeah? Okay. So when I'm talking about it, I'm talking about these to the side. So you'll see it's time for your after photo. You click on it. This will be about that time that I took these pictures, more than inches lost. It'll have the blog article, and then at the bottom, it'll have the Wufu account, the Wufu application. Pictures to the side. Yeah, 64 inches. And then, then join my upcoming challenge group. So let me just show you more about the design. Do it from a brand new blog, but I think it'll be easier just to work on mine because I'm more comfortable with it. So whenever I make a new post, like the onion, I'll just make a new post, that'll be easier. So let's say you make a recipe post. And you publish it. And you want it to show up on your um, tabs. You would click on the actual recipe. You will save this link up here. You'll copy it. You'll go back into your blog and you'll go to pages. Under pages, those are the things at the top where I have um, home, fit mom tips, teen eating recipes, Shakeology, my story, challenge groups. So I want this to be under clean eating recipes. These are all the recipes that I have linked in. So I'll put in here, I have a recipe. I will highlight it, link it, and copy and paste the information. So when somebody comes to my blog just looking for recipes, they can see a menu. They don't have to be scrolling through my entire blog then they can just click on it and it will take them. So when I'm talking about those tabs, I'm talking about these tabs up here. So how do you get them up there? So you do that by going to layout. And up here on the pages, you will edit. And then you can rearrange these at all times, these pages. You do it just by over here. And if you have a page that you're working on that you're not ready to publish, you don't have to. I have transformation stories and the 21 day fix apps that I don't have published. So I can unpublish and republish these apps at any point in the game. Oops. All right, I'll just put that away. Okay. So on your 
What I like to do, and I know people do this differently, another thing that I like to do with Blogger is I keep a lot of drafts up. Um, and what I do with these drafts is this is where I save my challenge group scripts. And um, I save my challenge group scripts here because then I can access them from any time. Um, so if I just go here, oops, wrong thing. And send it pages, draft. And then you can see hammer and chisel. I can start working on my hammer and chisel and just not publish it or save it for another time or schedule it. Another thing that I wanted to show you about a blog is that you can, so we'll click on preparing for hammer and chisel. So on here, you'll see on these pictures and you'll see these labels. So you want to have labels so when someone does a Google search, they're going, let's say they want to Google search um, body beast. Let's say they bought um, Google search um, beach body coach. The, this is what triggers your stuff to show up in their search. So they don't have to type in preparing for hammer and chisel to see your blog stuff. They can type in any of these labels and it'll come up It like tags it. But you also want to add properties to your pictures. So when you add properties to your pictures, you'll just click on the picture and properties, and you, oh, I didn't do it. The one time I didn't do it. Um, so when you add properties to your pictures, this is also what kind of makes them show up in your, in the Google search. So I'll always do my name, Diamond Beach Light Coach, 21 day fix because that's one of the most popular um, things that are searched in Google. I'll do fit mom. I'll do Pittsburgh. I will do um, fit nurse, um, mom of two, etc. And that will just help your save your stuff and get it out there as much as possible. So I do that for every picture. Obviously, I just copy and paste. I don't do that. But you can see I talked about preparing for hammer and chisel. And in case they didn't know what hammer and chisel was, I wanted to link them to, to hammer and chisel, to my blog article that talked about exactly what hammer and chisel was. Hey, can I ask you a question while you're on there? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'll get back to that. Did you update that? Update what? What you just said with the alt text. I didn't save it now. Why? Because I, I don't know if you, I told you about my problem that I'm having on my blog. No. My pictures, when I do my properties and my alt text, it's not saving it anymore. So when I go to it, it's not showing back up. Oh, I'm wondering if that's what happened because it would be very rare that I did not put this in. That's why I was going to say you might have, but whenever we go back in, and Melanie had the same issue, that it's not showing up that anything was there. Okay, I'm gonna go to another. Okay, so I know I just did this one today and I know I put it in. Properties, oh, it's gone. I'm gonna email Google and see if they can figure it out and help us. Yeah, that's really weird. Yeah. Because like my it's really important. That's how people find our stuff. Other than um, the labels. Yeah. Other than the labels. But if your picture, when you put this picture, um, I will put it on Pinterest and have it linked back to my blog. Whenever you do that, then if this sh picture shows up in Google, you don't really have property over it. If it doesn't have these properties to it. It will just show up that it, anybody could have done it. It doesn't show up as yours. So the properties are really important. That's pretty annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out. I just need to email a couple people. So I don't know how many people use Wufu, but you really should be using Wufu. Um, it is a free site. I always have my Wufu up, and why I want to show it to you is because if you're blogging, I feel like having Wufu is um, completely necessary. You get three forms for free, um, and you can set them up in a matter of minutes. Just look at my forms or Deidre's forms, and um, it, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. But I, like I said, I put them in the bottom of all of my 
all of my articles. If you're putting it, why? Um, if you're putting them, if you're putting a Wuhu application on Facebook or something like that, you can simply just apply the link. But I like to have the entire application directly on my blog, and hopefully I'll get to show you how to do that. I just want to show you how to do this and then also how to like embed a YouTube video because that's something I've really been trying to work on um, adding in because because I feel like it's a it's a nice add if you're at it if you're talking about a fitness program that you can add the YouTube video right to it. So it's Wufu. This is something that actually took me a long time to figure out because I think a lot of servers do it differently. Okay, so join my challenge group. You'll go to share. I already have these applications made. I do a free cleaning group, a challenge group, and a coaching application. You'll go to embedded. And here's the embedded code. You'll right click, select all, and copy. You'll go back to your blog under my recipe. I'll say for more tips, recipes, meal planning, support, whatever, whatever, come check out my blog. Go to HTML, paste, update, and then when you go to view it, wait for it, your application for your upcoming challenge group will be right there. So it's pretty cool. And I used to just put the link for it and nobody would ever fill it out. But now that I have it directly on my blog, I feel like I get a lot more people, a lot more traffic from my blog. It has been a game changer. So YouTube video. I'm nervous what's all on here because I think Dan uses my YouTube. <laughs> so we're just going to click Adele. <laughs> And um, you can do um, you can do anything from also the Beachbody website if you go under like their tools and training under that tab where there's the promo videos you can use those. If I'm using a video about a Beachbody program, I make sure that I am using the one that's by Beachbody or by Autumn. I don't want to use another coach's videos because that just looks bad. So you go to share, and again, the embedded code. Right click, copy, come back to my recipe. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to go back to the HTML, and I'm going to right click it in to paste. Update, and view. So I think these are like the basic things that you need to set up a blog and to have um, to start having some success with it is really going to the layout and the template and setting it up because you want to make it eye catching. It should be like a magazine cover. It should tell a little bit about you, a little bit about your story, and um, let me see if it, did it ever show up. There, yeah, recipe. So without having too many words, you can kind of see um, a fitness journey. You can kind of see that I'm a mom. And then there, there's the video right there. So pretty simple. Um, if you guys need help with anything with your blog, I would be happy to help. Um, I also recommend if you have a story, whether it's a coaching success story or a um, – transformation story that you put that video also on the side tab of your bar. This will always show up no matter what you're looking at. This is always on the right side of my bar. Shakeology samples, you can do this with PayPal. It's kind of the same thing. It's an embedded code. 
And I always make sure that I have a challenge group offer on my sidebar and a now hiring offer on my sidebar. Is that, does that help? That was awesome. Do me a favor, go back to edit one of your, one of your. Okay. Well, when I have my, go to the H, I never go to the HTML for anything. I have to, like I'll show you what happens if I don't. If I don't, the, um, none of my, none of the embedded stuff works. Just click on it. Click on the HTML a sec. Go to options on the right. Hold on, I have to move you. Where do you where do you see options? Oh, there we go. And now you do have interpreted HTML there. Yeah, because remember you and I we had a Zoom call about this and we're trying to figure it out forever ago, like a year ago, and we could not figure it out. It took me forever to figure out why I had to do it this way. But this is how Alicia has to do it too, because Alicia's the one who showed me. Really? Mm -hmm. That's so weird. Well, like I said, I don't know because I did a lot of research when I was doing my blog, and I don't know if how often Blogger changes. Yeah. I'm wondering if you just have a different version of Blogger. Maybe. I don't know. It looks the same, but yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, so if you do, if you don't do HTML, your YouTube videos won't show up. Yeah, I'll show you. So I'll just make a whole new post. And I'll just paste this in. Huh. That is so weird. Yeah. Wait, okay, so on Compose, go to Options Now. I don't know. It's an in, in interpret. All right. Huh. Well, I mean, at least you still can figure it out, so it's not an extra much I to do. But. That was awesome, though. Thanks. There's, like, a lot you can do, but I don't want to get too much in if you're just starting out with a blog, but definitely you want to go to this template section and you want to customize it for you. So um, like I said, it's time for your after picture. If I want to go in and edit this, and I used to edit this all the time. I used to put my, um, every single challenge group that I would run, I would change this image, but I was just not very good at updating it all the time. So I just put my before and after pictures and used it more like that. Um, but all you have to do is put in your text, put in a picture, and have it link to another part of your blog. I would also recommend when you're first starting out, maybe not putting the pages up right away because it'll look funny if you have those pages and you don't have a whole lot of content. So get a little bit of content and then start plugging away at those pages. And then I'm not gonna lie, I did pay somebody to um, do a little bit of work with my blog, not on my articles or anything, but once I realized that my blog was gonna be a significant source of traffic for me, I did have them um, do a template that's a little bit different because the templates are kind of generic and I had no idea how to do this. You can find me, so don't ask. Um, it was not expensive to have somebody do these few little facelifts to my blog. Did we um, use the same person? Yes. It's like 30 bucks. Yeah. It's like it was totally worth it. She didn't touch any of my content or anything. Just made um, this header up here. I Obviously, I could make that header no problem, but I could not figure out how to put it in there. Um, the, the Chevron background, the three pictures here, just something to make it a little bit different than than the average blog. So I would definitely recommend that if once you start getting content up on your blog to make the small investment and have, um, I would be happy to give you the name of who worked on mine. And she also did Deidre's, she did Melanie Mitro's, 
she does Lauren Penrose's, I think she does Sarah Griffith's, just giving this few little face lift things. What is it called? Blooming? Bloom? Yeah, it's like Teresa Bloom or something. Yeah, Teresa Bloom. It's, um... Here, look. She, uh, put her, she put her stuff at the bottom and I didn't even realize. Always in Bloom Designs. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Teresa Bloom. And she's on Etsy. Yeah, she's great. There's and she's really great to work with like she would send it to me a whole bunch of times like do you like this do you like this better and I said you know I'm getting pictures taken again and she was like oh it'll just be I'll charge you ten dollars to switch out all these pictures so um, she's really great to work with so I would definitely recommend that if if that's what you're doing but find your niche come up with what you want your blog to be and just circle it around that Does anyone have any questions? That was really, really good. How did you find your niche? How did I find, oh, I'll stop sure. How did I find my niche? Um, I think for a while I tried to be other I would look at Melanie's blog or Dietrich's blog and I, I would try to post like them or say like them, but it just wasn't me. It was work and I didn't like it. And once I just started being me, talking about my journey in a really raw, natural form, then I started to enjoy it and then I feel like people started to follow more. So, um, it's it can be hard to find your niche because that's the part that you have to be really raw with yourself. I target, um, I live my life on a strict budget and I try to um, target people who are on a clean eating budget. Moms who maybe don't have a lot of support from their spouse or don't have a lot of um, help with their kids. Just just find who you are, write it down, and then just just be raw with it because that's when when people will follow you. Wait, let me read. There's another thing from this chat. So those are your targeted people, but do you invite everyone when you do your invites? Um, for the most part, I do, but I really don't invite males personally that's just not really my niche I've had a few guy challengers it, it, but it's just really it's not my thing and and that's okay like a lot of people feel like you have to, and I, I always say invite everyone everywhere but also like you're gonna have your specific audience and you're gonna relate to certain people more so you know, even me, I usually randomly don't invite males. Um, I do have some that come to me, but for the most part, like I'm looking for people like me and that's what you want to be okay with. And your audience is going to find you. Erica had asked that because they're going to look at her content and as you're being real and yourself, those people are going to find you and they're going to like you for who you are. So it is going to be really hard if you try to be someone else. So Try really hard just to be you, and it won't be so hard. I want to create an old Melbourne. Okay. <laughs> what did Nana say? <laughs> she just, she just <laughs> hold on, here she comes. I want to create an all male group. <laughs> <laughs> Boyfriend. I do, I do not. <laughs> I do not either. Oh my gosh. I want them to wear their spandex when they work out. <laughs> no, I do not either. <laughs> Nana's getting fit. Nana's getting horny. All right, time to go. <laughs> Holy man. Oh, Lori. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a long time for Nana. It is. <laughs> we'll stop. <laughs> Nana. Oh, you have a question, Nana. You want that before or after their transformation? <laughs> after. After. They after. Before sweats beforehand. <laughs> sweats beforehand, spandex after. 
All right. Cool. Can you get your dog off of me? <laughs> All right. Does anybody else have any questions? <laughs> Um, I think you had another question. Speaking of transformation, look at my husband's latest pick, Deidre. Misty, I need to go look. I wish my husband would have a transformation. <laughs> hey, at least you have one. <laughs> you can have them. No, I'm good. <laughs> I don't like Nana, them Nana, Nana, you want them? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's too young. <laughs> All right. We all don't really hate men. I promise. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, dear. There are some good ones out there. I bet you guys have some good ones. <laughs> there you go. That's right. All right. I think we're good. Was there another question, Kaylee? Because I don't see it. Erin, did you Ow. write a coaching post? Did you post it in the push group? I did. Yeah. Did you look at it? Nope, that's that's my after the call date. Oh, that's awesome. That's okay. That's good. Yeah. I'll check it out. All right, just let me know if it needs tweaked. I will look at it too because I'm doing that next too. We okay. have all the times that we check in because that's like, like I always I check in three times a day. So if I'm like not in my check in time, I wait until my next check in. Okay, awesome. That's what I Part do. of time management. <laughs> I need to work on that. Hey, it's. It's a work in prog uh, progress for everyone, so. Uh-oh, blew up the group. You, Aaron and Deidre, I blew up that group. <laughs> Bring some e, &E. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, Christy, I love it when you blow up the group because that means that you're working hard and you, you're trying. So when you're putting in effort, we love that. We love the energy, so you post away. Oh, my gosh. Time management. Huh? Um, Cynthia wants a time management call. All right, we can set that up, definitely. I think we're due for a time management call. We haven't had one in a while. If you guys have any other ideas, you know what? I'll do a post, and um, if anyone has specific ideas of what you want to talk about on a call, we can definitely do that. <laughs> That's probably good because we have a lot of new working coaches, I feel like. What? Like I said we have a lot of new working coaches that probably weren't here for that. Like yeah. when I'm looking at these spaces, a lot of them are new. Yeah. And plus we're starting a new year. So I think starting out the new year fresh would be a great idea. She is getting on my nerves. <laughs> Could you guys imagine being around her all the time? <laughs> I think it would be awesome. Thank you, Aaron. You want to come over? Thank you, Aaron. I can't leave my children. <laughs> I'll come over. <laughs> I'll watch the whip and the nay nay. They're sleeping. I do a calling Melanie's on Monday. That pretty well covers. Yeah, she does really good with, with the whole time management. But yeah, we can still definitely do one too. I like that. Cool. Anyone else? No, nope. I thought about you earlier when I was dub smashing you and Ashley. I posted it. Wait, you did a dub smash? <laughs> and I posted it. <laughs> DMX. Oh, um, snap. I about you ladies earlier when I did it with um, Kenzie. Oh, I got to look at it. Yeah. Speaking of Ashley, now that I know that you're coming, I mean, you are coming now, right? So I was just looking at plane tickets and they're like, amazingly cheap and I'm really excited so guess what I have a flying buddy for you one of Melanie's coaches is coming from St. Louis too seriously yeah awesome yeah I need to get in touch with her that's awesome see Ashley's coming from St. Louis Missouri is that Missouri Missouri yeah <laughs> <laughs> Jamaica you know it's Jamaica <laughs> I did really bad with geography um history Geography. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, she's flying in, so who else wants to fly in? We're going to have a big party. It's going to be a lot of fun. What? All right. Awesome. 
We have another roommate. Ashley, we're going to have to do a dub smash again when I come pick you up and drive the right way from the airport. We'll do like 12 of them so we can have one a month, like for the, all of next year. <laughs> Perfect idea. I like it. <laughs> Someone else smashes up geography. <laughs> You're my soulmate. Oh my gosh. It's funny. I love the stuff we have in common with each other. Like, me and Ashley Roberts, we just, we have rambling problems on our Voxer. We like ramble to each other for like five minutes and we don't even know what we're saying. <laughs> All right, cool. I'll let you guys go.